This tutorial is powered by AskQuesty.com. Get help with your website on demand. And don't forget, subscribe for more tutorials. Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you how you can easily add meta titles, uh, meta descriptions, and keywords to your WordPress pages or posts uh, using plugins. And I am using the Rank Math SEO plugin. There's also um, other plugins on One SEO, Yoast SEO, which is probably one of the most popular ones. I enjoy using Rank Math. I think it's a little bit more uh, tweakable and advanced and gives you a lot of other cool features. Um, but anyway, so there's a lot of great plugins out there uh, that lets you dynamically add meta tags and uh, descriptions and keywords to your posts and pages. Uh, so you don't have to add them statically as in such in the in the back end of your files, etc. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I have the Rank Math SEO plugin already installed. I will include in the comments a couple plugins uh, for SEO. And what we're going to do is that we're going to go into a page that I have here. And uh, they're not really set up. This is just a staging uh, test site. Uh, so I don't really have a lot of things set up here, but I'm going to show you kind of what it looks like and how you can add uh, descriptions and titles uh, to your posts and pages. It's going to be pretty much the same exact way you're going to do it in like something like Yoast. Uh, so here we go. Here's my Rank Math uh, SEO right here. And I have the general right here. And then you can see this right here, focus keyword. So I can add a keyword here if I wanted to say uh, it's my uh, design um, brand right here. And then it's going to give me a score on the side here. And it's going to tell me when I scroll down all the things that I can add and fix in order for me to and to help me rank for this keyword and this is kind of the key and no SEO plugin you know you're not going to just enter your keywords into a, a plugin or even to a page and just expect it to rank you need to build your content around the keywords that you want to rank for make sure it's relevant make sure it's trustworthy and then you're optimizing your content to its full extent to use these keywords so you're going to want to add it to the title you're going to want to add it to a subheading you're going to want to add it to your body within the uh, you know first 100 words of your uh, of your poster page you're going to want to make sure to include that keyword there um, and you know optimally you're going to want to also include it in your URL or slug so this kind of goes uh, you know and kind of shows you what you can do to help your blog or your page uh, rank better for or optimize be optimized better in order to rank for these keywords that you're going to want to use okay so as you can see here, it says basic SEO. Uh, it says my keyword does not appear in the SEO title. I should fix that. It doesn't appear in the meta description. I should fix that, etc. Um, they also give you some additional ones here, um, as well as some readability and content re readability scores. So this this is a really great plugin to do that, and it kind of uh, helps you step by step um, in order to attain the 100 point ranking. Um, you know, obviously, you don't really need to get a 100 points, um, you know, get as close as possible. And when we're talking about Yoast SEO, you don't have to go for the green bullet. You know, yellow or better, that's fine. Just make sure that your content is optimized and that it's relevant and that there's enough content there in order for search engines to see the content and realize what, how it, you know, how relevant it is to uh, the, the searcher's search in order to rank you in their in their search okay so this is how that works this is where you're going to edit this is what your uh, snippet this is what people are going to see when they you know enter these keywords so you can edit this and you just hit, hit edit snippet and then you're going to see um, all these different things you can add so the custom meta description this is where you would add your description uh, you can use just the excerpt right here or you can enter um, your own type of information, say Wander Design is a web development company that specializes in WordPress and other consumers websites. As we So as you see, as I'm writing, this bar is going up. So pretty much you want to be in the green here. And this, like I said, this is the same in SEO. You got to, or uh, Yoast SEO. 
you're going to want to make sure it's in the green mark. It kind of gives you a step of how many words or characters that you can use and then uh, in the description um, if it goes over that amount amount it's going to be cut off in the SERP so you're going to want to find the sweet spot and using your keyword in the description and in, in the title and making sure it's you know it, it looks good you know people you might appear you know in the top of the SERPs but if your title and your description isn't appealing uh and relevant to what people are looking for they're probably not going to click on your link so make sure you really really focus on your title and your description uh, consider it kind of like an, an advertising strategy okay so that is how you would enter keywords and descriptions and titles into WordPress, one of the most easiest ways to do it is to download a plugin called Rank Math SEO or Yoast SEO or All in One SEO and just kind of go through the steps of setting it up. It's really, really simple to use, and I hope that helps you guys build out your content that is SEO optimized. Hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. If this was helpful, please subscribe. And if you need extra help, visit AskQuesty.com and send us your questions.